Hi, boys and girls. I'm Sarah. Today, I'm going to read you the book Mr. Tickle. It was a warm, sunny morning in his small house. At the other side of the woods, Mr. Tickle was asleep. He didn't know that there was such a thing as a tickle, did you? Well, this is. Tickle are small and round, and they have arms that stretch and stretch and stretch. As small as the early long arms. <coughs> Mr. Tickle was fast asleep. He was having a dream. It must be, it must have been a very funny dream because it made him laugh out loud, and that woke him up. He sat up his in bed, scratched his extraordinary long arms, and <coughs> and yawned and. Amorous yum. Mr. Tickle felt hungry. So, do you know what did he? What he did? <clears throat> he rooted it out. One of his extraordinary dinary long arms opened the bed bathroom door, reached down the stairs, opened the kitchen door, reached into the kitchen cupboard, opened. The biscuit tin took out a biscuit, brought it back upstairs, and drew the bedroom door and back to Mr. Tickle's bed. As you can see, it's very useful indeed having arms as long as Mr. Tickle's. Mr. Tickle munched his biscuit. He looked out of the window. Today looks very much like a tick tickling day, he thought to himself. <clears throat> so later that morning, Mr. Tickle had made his bed and cooked his breakfast. He sat up through the woods. As he walked along, he kept his eyes very wide. Open. Look for somebody to tickle. Look for anybody to tickle. <clears throat> even truly, Miss. Even even truly, Mr. Tickle came to the school. Came to a school. There was nobody about. So reaching up his extraordinary. Thunderly long arms to a high window ledge, Mr. Tickle pulled himself up and peeped it in through the open window. <coughs> Inside, he could he could see a classroom. There were children sitting at at their desks. And a teacher writing up on the blackboard. I'm sorry about that. <clears throat> Mr. Tickle waited a minute, then and then reached it through the window. Mr. Tickle's extraordinary long arm went right. Up to the teacher, paused it and then tickled it. The and、uh, the teacher jumped in the air and turned around very quickly to see who was there, but there was nobody there. Mister Tickle grinned, grinned, um, much. Miss Chi, Miss Chi, Evel, 
grin. He waited another minute and then tickled it the teacher again. This time, this time he kept on tickling until soon the teacher was laughing out loud and saying, "Stop it! Stop it!" over and over again. All the children were laughing too at such a funny, funny sight. There was trouble, panty, panty no meal. Eventually, Mr. Tickle thought that he had even fun, so he gave the teacher more. One more tickle for luck, and then very quietly brought his arm back through the open window. Thinking to himself, he jumped down from the window, leaving the poor teacher to explain what it was all about. Which, of course, he couldn't. Then, then Mr. Tickle went to the town. <clears throat> And one of them, Mr. Tickle had, <clears throat> he tickled it the policeman and traffic judge at the crossroads in the middle of town. It caused an enormous traffic jam. <clears throat> This is pol policeman. No, I think this is traffic duty. He tickled it the green grocer does as he was peeling apples neatly in his shop window. The green grocer fell over backwards, and the apples rolled all over the shop. At the railway station, the guard was about to wave his flag for the train to leave. As he lifted his arm in the air, Mr. Tickle tickled him, and every time he tried to wave his flag, Mr. Tickle tickled him until the train was ten minutes late leaving the station, and all the passengers were furious. That day, Mr. Tickle did every tickle. Mr. Tickle tickled it everybody. He tickled it the doctor. He tickled it the butcher. He even tickled it old Mr. Stamp and postman, who dropped it all his letter into the pot. Then Mr. Tickle went home, sitting. In his armchair, his in his small house at the, at the other side of us, he loved it and loved it every time he thought about all the people he had tickled it. So, if you are in the way ticklish, beware of. Mr. Tickle and those extra downy long arms of it, her of his. Just think, perhaps he's somewhere about at this very moment while you were reading a, reading this book. Perhaps the extra downy long long arm of his he his is already creeping. Up to the door in of this room, perhaps is opening the door now and coming into the room. Perhaps before you know what is happening, you will be well and truly tickled.
Mr. Tickle is finished. Bye.